Welcome back to the channel. It is Racer X, and I am actually back with my good buddies at the Hearst Autoplex because today I want to show you a little bit about electric cars. Now, I realize that this subject is kind of a, a sore subject for some of you out there, and uh, but I want to kind of show just how different these electric cars are, and maybe some of the good things that uh, electric cars can kind of provide us. This is the way things are trending, guys, whether we like it or not. So I'm going to give electric cars their just due today and just show you a little bit about them so it might be kind of interesting also guys if you are new to my channel do me a big gigantic favor because down at the bottom there's a subscribe button please tap that subscribe button because i have so much great content to bring you you can follow me on instagram hit the notification bell for me because i've got lots of great content coming up and we are off <laughs> we got the thousand horsepower helmet One of the things I really do like about Hearst Autoplex is just, it's just like a candy store. <laughs> You're a kid, you know? They have so much stuff here. I mean, Shelby's. And uh, look at all the C8s they have up here, Camaro SS's. They've got a plethora of great stuff in the showroom in there. So uh, yeah, I'm a happy guy when I'm up here at the Autoplex. But anyway, let's go take a look at this electric uh, car I wanna show you, and we'll go from there. So behind me, I've got my 2020 Mustang GT Premium. As you know, that one is gonna be getting that Bad Daddy Twin Turbo kit here very, very soon. So sort of the uh, <laughs> the two extremes here, two polar opposites, because here you do have the all-electric uh, P100 from Tesla. I will say that this car is incredibly different. You, your entire mindset changes when you look at electric cars, because even getting in it, you don't start it like you do a normal car. And all the components in it are different, I mean, just, your whole mindset it just all has to change every throw everything you know about cars out the window when you look at something like this and uh, I just I'll show you some of the differences and give you my thoughts now when you look at a car like a Mustang GT you're looking at a very traditional setup in terms of how this thing makes power it is internal combustion right so basically uh, an engine is actually nothing more than really a big air pump when you really think about it objectively now when you look over here at the Tesla completely different deal right you're talking about battery packs so you don't have traditional fuel in this vehicle like you would have in a Mustang which means you also don't need to have exhaust components on this car uh, you're talking about a car that has a rumbly V8 that sounds good versus a car that essentially makes no noise at all and it's very kind of analog to drive this vehicle so I think that's the big knock from a lot of muscle car folks is it doesn't make any sound it's kind of an analog driving experience you can see you don't even have really any air intakes in the front you simply don't need it you've got a big heavy battery pack sitting underneath you whereas obviously here you've got to have a lot of air intake and a lot of different things uh, to consider with an internal combustion engine so uh, as we take a look around the Tesla just a little bit more you can see yeah it does kind of look like a regular sedan but I mean <laughs> there's so much that changes when you think about how this thing actually functions let's talk a little bit more about the inside of the car now, I, I really will admit that just everything about this car is just sort of trippy to me, being a traditional performance muscle car, sports car kind of guy. Even the key fobs on these things are just, <laughs> they're just different. You know, so as we walk up, there go the, uh, the mirrors and the handles. <laughs> we jump into this. You got that signature T for Tesla in the middle. Very nice steering wheel there. You can see uh, <laughs> the technology is just insane in a Tesla. And uh, all the features and things are really done, everything's done from this central infotainment screen in the middle, which is gigantic. It covers really like half the dash up in this, but there's, I mean, really everything you do in this car is kind of monitored by this central screen here. Now you do get a nice, uh, a couple of nice, uh, feature comforts in here you can see you've got your traditional cup holders and storage there in the middle very comfortable seats in this car but uh, that's kind of where the similarities stop so let's talk a little bit about the Tesla and some of the great things that electric cars can offer us, some of the benefits. Well, first of all, from a performance perspective, you're talking about all-wheel drive, and you're talking about 100% of its available torque at zero RPM. So while these things might be quiet, they pack a ginormous punch. And in there, like P100D, they've got the new Plaid Edition coming out, which is super ridiculous. And Tesla has their new Roadster coming out. Um, it, it's incredible the amount of grip these things have uh, with all of that torque but they do they're actually very very fast especially when they're on a full charge of course they don't burn fossil fuels either renewable energy 
So here is the driving position in the Tesla uh, P100. As you can see, uh, really, really nice uh, digital display here. And of course, there is that giant screen there in the middle that you can do so much from. I mean, it's so incredibly functional how much you can do. But it is just really trippy. You don't see a start button in this thing anywhere. Like I said, you really have to change your whole mindset when you go to a Tesla. These things up here are how you open the door. This little bitty thing here. Um, almost space age looking handles here. You've got some nice kind of suede bits right up on the top so it is it is kind of nice uh, from an interior uh, features perspective but you actually put this thing in gear I, I i sat and tried to figure out how to drive this car not being a tesla guy being a traditional car guy i was like how in the world do you work this thing but you actually work it from here that is actually how you put the vehicle in park reverse and drive and you just have to sort of figure things out because it does you know when you start it up it makes no noise at all it is just a really really weird thing and as you jump into this you can see right down here you've got your home screen for the vehicle you can do all sorts of fun stuff you can open up your sunroof lots of stuff to do there you've got your exterior lighting um, you've got your quick controls suspension which is kind of nice so in this particular one you can raise it all the way up to very high or you just lower the car if you want to you've got lots of different light settings i mean this is incredible the number of settings and how configurable this particular car is you can go to your driving you've got your acceleration where you can either be in chill or standard uh in a like a p100d you would actually see that it has like a um a mode called i think it's insane mode but uh, at any rate you've also got autopilot here which is really trippy, right? I mean, can you imagine the car driving itself? But these cars have uh, functionality where they can actually kind of stay between the lines and drive themselves to a degree. It just, man, it takes so much adjustment in my mind. So sitting inside the Tesla P100, it is a very comfortable place to sit. The seats are actually quite nice. The sunroof in this is enormous. It goes here and then all the way over the back as well. And you control all of that right here from the center screen. But I, as I did mention, I actually sat in this car trying to figure out just how to work it, how to even turn it on. I mean, just because of my normal mindset, like you don't really turn the car on like a normal car. Okay. How the hell do you do this? Like, there's no way... How does this car work? Like, I don't understand. Like, if I'm supposed to do... I am so confused. Uh, it just doesn't work that way. You have to control in terms of driving the car. You've got this right stock right here, and that's how you put the thing in gear. And it just it makes absolutely no noise when you do it. So it is pretty trippy. And then of course uh, you got to make sure that you're actually in the right gear, and it really just takes some adjustments. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the thing in, in gear. I'm gonna go down the road in this and give you my driving impressions. Now I'm actually going down the road in the Tesla, and I. I don't know what to say. I mean, you could literally hear a pin drop in this vehicle. Obviously, I don't have the uh, I don't have the air conditioning on. I don't have the radio going, and the radio actually sounds pretty good in this. But I mean, it is absolutely dead silence going down the road. It is a really, really weird thing. I've actually got the car in uh, in standard versus chill mode, and my steering is in sport. My regenerative braking is also in standard. So when I let off the gas, it actually is really, really different. It doesn't roll forward like a traditional like my muscle. Stangwood or my Hellcat or anything, I let off the gas and you can literally feel the car slow down. There, It feels like I'm hitting the brakes. All I did was let off the gas and we're slowing down really, really fast. So it is just a very different driving feel in this. So, and I realized that when I mentioned things like the gas pedal, even that, even that in my mind, I'm like, guess what? The car doesn't even take gas. <laughs> So, but I got to admit, the car drives really, really smooth, almost ridiculously smooth. It, it drives almost like you're on rails. And uh, it's just, it is, it's incredible the difference. As I go around this corner, I can actually go ahead and give it a little bit of gas. I, see, there I go again. It's not gas. I'll, we'll give it some, a little bit of acceleration pedal. How's that? <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> It's just, it's an absolute rush of acceleration and it feels effortless uh, in the way that the car performs. It, it, boy, this thing. Now on these back roads, I mean, it's so much fun to just kind of come to a complete stop. And then as you go to accelerate, you're fully expecting to spin. Accelerating this fast, I should be spinning. But no, there's no spinning at all. It feels very buttoned down and very under control. At the same time, it's sucking you to the back of the seat. And uh, it, it feels like it shouldn't be doing that, especially a car that weighs this much. These cars 
they're pretty heavy, but it doesn't feel heavy at all because of all of that torque. It's just, it really does feel very effortless, um, but it just, just so weird to not make any noise back here as I'm just zipping around. Um, I can see why sometimes people are almost freaked out by these because, um, you know, it's, it's a big sedan and it's accelerating so fast, making no noise. And um, I mean, shoot, somebody could jump out in front of this thing and, and just never know it was coming. So even cruising along at like 40 miles an hour, um, the car feels un not only unbelievably quiet, but just super, super buttoned down and unbelievably, really ridiculously smooth. So if you're somebody that likes a car that is just really, really smooth, really quiet, um, this almost brings like that Cadillac type feel with the smooth, quiet ride to a new level. But when you go to step on this one, it feels way different. <laughs> Look at this thing go. That's 90 miles an hour, just like that. And it just, it really does. It sucks you right to the seat and makes no noise doing it. I don't really know what to say about that. I'm just, I'm kind of freaked out by it. There is absolutely no reason that this car should be this punchy. Um, this isn't even the P100D version, which is the vehicle that's unbelievably fast. You see that on a lot of the uh, on a lot of the YouTube channels and stuff out there. The, I know the Tesla Racing Channel and all that kind of stuff, uh, where they're actually you know racing those cars. You see the P100Ds at the track sometimes, but uh, this is just the P100. But I am still astounded by how hard it can sit you back in the seat. So as a traditional performance kind of muscle sports car guy, absolutely love, I'm an enthusiast through and through, I really wanted to kind of hate on electric cars because a lot of us do that, right? Anything new and different, we're gonna kind of not be a fan of it. It's human nature and I'm, I'm guilty as well. I'm like, you know, electric vehicles, are they taking over the world, why? Um, but I will say after driving this car for a little while, I am pretty impressed with the performance of it. I, you know, I don't like the fact that it's so quiet just because I love that burbly V8 type sound. I love the sound of turbos and superchargers. You're not gonna get any of that with this. But in terms of just raw performance, I am unbelievably <laughs> impressed, geez, with, um, with how this thing performs and there's no taking that away from what this is. So uh, I do wanna talk a little bit about some of the drawbacks of uh, an electric car like this. One, and of course the thing that glares in my mind the most is, well, you know, it doesn't take traditional gasoline. You have to plug this thing in and let it charge. So say, for example, you want to get in the car, take the family on a long road trip to wherever. Um, well, you have to plan your uh, trip out pretty carefully because you you have to get a full charge on this. Right now it's showing I have 253 miles until uh, I have to recharge but the vehicle actually will lose a little bit of performance, obviously, with the lower charge. So you do have to keep that in mind. I mean, it's not like you could just pull into the local gas station and get more fuel for this. So uh, you gotta find out where your charging stations are and then set aside some time for this thing to actually recharge so that you can resume your trip. I know some people will also say this, but yeah, it's not free to charge your car at a lot of places. Even at home, you have to kind of get a special sort of uh, charging station put in uh, to your uh, to your wall there or wherever it may be. And then, of course, you know you have to allow your vehicle enough time. So if you own if you own a Tesla, it really does take a little bit of planning just to make sure that you always have enough charge in the vehicle to get where you need to be. Um, another thing about these things is it takes some getting used to uh, in terms of just the doors and I mean everything. It's just so different than it would be in a in a normal car. Um, you know, there's that adjustment period. So once you adjust, I could see this actually kind of being a pretty neat vehicle. So really that brings up the big question and sort of the premise of this entire video is do electric cars suck? I, you know, I kind of had my preconceived notions about if electric cars suck or not. And I really kind of thought, yeah, they probably do. But after driving this particular car, I will admit that no, I, they don't suck. They're different. And I just have to sort of change my mindset and be open-minded and sort of embrace what they are, uh, what they do well, and more, you know, just a few of the drawbacks of electric cars. But I think that electric cars probably did sort of used to suck, but I don't think they suck anymore. I think they've come a really long way with this electric technology. It continues to get better and better. They're developing better technology in these when it comes to just doing your normal updates and things like that. I mean, literally this thing will download its own updates. It's just, <laughs> so um, now if you're a performance guy that likes to tune wrenches, maybe there's a drawback there, right? Because yeah, I mean, how do you modify this? You really, 
you really can't. I mean, there's not a lot of modifiability. However, they are saying that you may actually be able to, just with a computer, go in and do modifications to something like this. And actually, you know, so it, gone are the days where you have to, you know, bolt up, you know, catless mid pipes and pulleys and all that kind of stuff. That doesn't happen on a car like this. But if you can get in and actually crack the code and, and actually start tinkering with the PCM in this car, uh, they're saying that that might be the wave of the future. Get in and actually be able to tune these and sort of add your own modifications to them. So that is actually something really neat to think about. But really the big drawbacks to me, yeah, you got to plug them in. You got to plan for how far you're going to go, all that kind of stuff. Um, they're a little bit more expensive still. Uh, so they're not the, really the cheapest car on the road. And I just don't really like the fact that they're super, super quiet. I mean, I love a traditional muscle car sound. But in terms of performance, um, they're fantastic. You're not going to be stopping at the gas pump all the time. Um, if you like something that's really, really quiet, um, these things are unbelievably quiet, unbelievably smooth, and they feel very, very refined. So um, they do have their positives and negatives. It's just a mindset thing with the Tesla. So there you have it. That is the review on the all-electric uh, Tesla P100. So I... I'm pretty impressed with the car. I'm just, I gotta give this thing its due. It's very, very different. It would take me some adjusting, um, but they have really come a long way with this electric technology, so I'm gonna do my best to embrace it. This is the future, guys. I hate to tell you, um, but it, it is what it is. This is the direction everything is going, and these guys are at the absolute forefront of the technology in the EV world. So uh, go drive uh, you know, go drive one of these and see what you think about it. It is a little bit of a trip, and you're kind of wondering, how the heck do you just open the doors in it? And it just <laughs> everything about it is different. But it is still kind of cool. So go take a look for yourself and see what you think and make up your own mind. That's my best advice for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Put your comments down below, and I will catch you on the next one. So until then, Racer X.